Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Pom Pom Sisters YouTube channel. My name is Shantae, I'm the mother of the Pom Pom Sisters. And today, I will be showing everyone how I achieved my monthly protective style passion twist. So this was my first time attempting this look and I am head over heels in love. I did do a little research before starting this look. My biggest influencer was Beauty Can Braid on YouTube. I've been following her for years. I get a lot of my braiding inspirations from her. So her video number 409 was the one that inspired me for this. Um, the video gives great tips on what hair to use, how much hair to use, and it also gave me the method on how to install it. I'll be using the crochet rubber band method where you box off your hair into individual sections and then secure that section with a rubber band. Once the whole head is complete, I then begin to crochet the hair into my head. The hair that I would that I would be using for my passion twist was the model model water wave in the color 1b slash 33 so it has hints of brown in it i didn't want too much color i wanted to try to keep this look as natural as possible and i acquired my hair from my local beauty supply store now for my sections i wanted jumbo size twists I didn't want to be sitting in front of a mirror twisting my hair all day by doing small ones. I wanted something a little bit bigger, easier, and a quicker for me to install. So I used about two to three strands for each section of my um, hair. The parts around my edges, I did only two strands, while the parts um, in the middle of my hair where my hair is naturally thicker, I used three strands. I didn't want to put too much weight around my frail edges, and my edges are very thin and soft and can break off very easily, so I knew I didn't want to put too much tension in th those areas. While I was twisting, I did run into a dilemma. Like I said, this was my first time attempting, so I really didn't know what to expect. Watching videos, people just made it seem like you just twist the hair into your head, which probably did work for them, but for me, unfortunately, I was running into um, problems. So there was some twists that were neat and bouncy, and then there were others that um, looked like they wanted to try to unravel and they were uneven and weren't twisting right. I didn't want that look. I wanted, I did kind of want a uniformed look. There was nothing wrong with the twist on my left, but I wanted my twist to look more like the ones on the right. So what I ended up figuring out was that each strand, the curl pattern was different. There were some strands where the curl pattern went counterclockwise and there were some where the curl pattern went clockwise. So for the twist that was uneven and wasn't twisting together right, it just wasn't meshing together, I found out that those two strands, one was counterclockwise and one was clockwise. So when trying to twist them together, they just wasn't agreeing. So I had to make sure that each strand I picked out for each section on my head, they all went in the same direction. All the curls went to the same direction. And that's very easy. All you have to do is check the end of each strand and you can see the direction that the curl is going. Just make sure you match them up. Um, so. After figuring that out, which took me an extra hour because I was really frustrated and really wanted to figure out why I just couldn't get it, um, I was good to go. Um, everything just ran smoothly. So altogether, the look took me about six hours to accomplish. I'm pretty sure if I was to try it again, it would probably take me anywhere from four to five. My dilemma was it added on an extra hour of time trying to figure out my method and my technique. So once I got my technique down, it was easy. Crocheting the hair in, looping one side of the strand into the loop, to, and then pulling tight to secure it to the rubber band section. As I am twisting my passion twist, the 
you, of course you start out with your hair in the weave both in, in hand. I was doing the rope twisting method, which is where you twist while twisting. And that's because I wanted my hair to be secure and hidden with to make sure that that afro texture wasn't gonna come through, especially if I plan on wearing it for the next couple of weeks. Once I get past my hair and everything is secured and I've gelled down any edges that may look like they want to try to show through the twist, I just continue with a regular twist. I don't really emphasize too much on the twisting while twisting once I get towards the end. And I twirl the end around my finger, twist it tight, make sure it won't unravel, and it is good to go. After completing the look, I then go in with my Cream of Nature pure honey silicone free lightweight shine mist is good for dry and dehydrated hair it has pure honey rich coconut oil and creamy shea butter i wanted an oil that was going to be lightweight because i i wanted to be able to oil my scalp at least every other day uh, to keep up with the style and because it is a protective style you still have to oil your scalp and go through those necessary steps to make sure your hair is protected in the protective style so i um will be using that every other day or when needed if i feel like my hair may need an extra spritz i'll just use it it's really just by ear on that one once i sprayed on my hair mist i will then go in with the suave max hole volumizing mousse now this was just a cheap mousse that I had already stashed from a previous style. I didn't wanna go out and buy another mousse, but there's plenty of other mousses out there. I just know I needed something for my crochet here towards the end. And that was it for my completed look. Very simple, very easy, and I pray that it holds up for the three weeks. Follow me on Instagram at ponpon underscore sisters to see my updates on how I maintain my passion twist throughout the month. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell below so you can get notifications of when we upload. Come on and join the Pon Pon Gang and we'll see you next week.